boys and girls. I have a book today and it's called Little White Squirrel's Secret, A Special Place to Practice. This book was written by Penny L. Hunt. I got a chance to meet her last year when she came to Wren's to speak for our ladies um, group at the Methodist Church. Um, she wrote the book, she wrote the words, and it was illustrated by Thomas McAteer. And it's about a little white squirrel, and this little white squirrel is having a hard time with all his heart. He wants to jump like all the other squirrels do, but every time he attempts to jump, he falls, and everybody laughs at him. If there was only a place that he could go practice where no one could watch him. So little white squirrel's father, they discover a secret place in the forest and a special place to practice. So I'm going to read the book a little differently today. I'm going to read it first, and as I read each page, then I will show you the pictures. And afterwards, I'm going to ask you to do a little writing activity about the book. If you noticed on the front, it says autograph copy. On the first page of the book, it says, to Miss Palmer's class with love from Little White Squirrel and Miss Penny, March the 23rd, 2019. It was springtime in the mountains. The sun was shining, the butterflies were flying, the hummingbirds were humming, and everywhere animals were learning to jump. Foxes were learning to jump, rabbits were learning to jump, frogs were learning to jump, and in the trees the squirrels were learning to jump. Little gray squirrel was jumping, little brown squirrel was jumping, little black squirrel and little red squirrel were jumping. And so was little white squirrel. Sometimes little gray squirrel fell. Sometimes little brown squirrel fell. So did little black squirrel and little red squirrel. Everyone falls sometimes. Here's little white squirrel over here on this page. But more than sometimes little white squirrel fell. When the other squirrels fell, Hardly anyone noticed. But when little white squirrel fell, everyone noticed and everyone laughed. Little white squirrel did not want to jump anymore. Big, hot, hurting tears filled his eyes. He turned and ran away to hide. Daddy White Squirrel sat beside him. You look so sad. Is something wrong? Little White Squirrel hid his face. Daddy White Squirrel moved closer. It's the jumping, isn't it? Little White Squirrel nodded his head. Daddy White Squirrel was quiet. Then he said, I have a secret to share that will help. Tomorrow, I will show it to you. But don't tell anyone, it's a secret. At daybreak, Daddy White Squirrel led the way. Together, they ran and ran. Deeper and deeper into the forest, they went. Are we there yet? Little White Squirrel asked. Just about, said Daddy White Squirrel. And then he stopped. White Squirrel looked around. This is it? he asked. I don't see anything. Where's the secret? There, answered Daddy White Squirrel, pointing down the path, just around the corner. Little White Squirrel hurried past his father, up the path and around the bend, and there it was, the secret, the wonderful, beautiful secret. 
You guess what the secret is? He saw something he had never seen before. A tree as white as he was. Wow, cried little white squirrel as he scampered up the trunk and out onto a limb of a blooming dogwood tree. He sat very still. Can you see me? He called to Daddy White Squirrel. I am not sure, answered Daddy White Squirrel. Wiggle your tail so I'll know it's you. Little White Squirrel giggled and wiggled his tail. Soon he was climbing and jumping all over the tree. Then it happened. He fell. He held his breath and waited. But no one laughed. No one made fun of him. Hardly anyone had noticed. Day after day, he practiced. Day after day, he grew stronger and jumped a little better. Then one morning, Daddy White Squirrel said, it is time for us to go back and be with the other squirrels. I don't want to go back, moaned little white squirrel. No one laughs at me here. Daddy white squirrel stood beside him. I understand how you feel, but this is a place to practice, not to live. It is time for us to go. White Squirrel sighed and took one last look at his special place to practice. Then off they ran, Daddy White Squirrel and Little White Squirrel side by side through the forest. The closer they came to home, the slower Little White Squirrel ran. Slower and slower he went, but soon, like it or not, they were home again. When the other squirrels saw him, they all stopped and stared. No one said hello. No one came to be his friend. Suddenly, Little White Squirrel was very tired. His legs felt weak and wobbly. He was just about to rest in the bushes when Daddy White Squirrel sat beside him and whispered something in his ear. Remember the secret, he said. Do not think of anything else. Remember the secret and keep going. You can do this. Little White Squirrel took a deep breath and closed his eyes. He remembered the secret. He remembered what it looked like. He remembered how it smelled. He remembered how he felt in his special place. He saw himself jumping and silently thought, I can do this. I can. And he did. Why do you think he has his eyes closed right here on this page? After a while, everyone stopped watching. The other squirrels began to play again and everyone was jumping. Little gray squirrel, little brown squirrel, little black squirrel, little red squirrel, and little white squirrel too. The end. Now I want you to think about a time. Has there ever been a time that you didn't do something very well and people laughed at you? Think about how did that make you feel? Or has there been a time when the friend of yours or a family member of yours couldn't do something very well and other people laughed and made fun? How did that make you feel? I want you to think about those two questions and it can either be about you or it can be about a family member, but I want you to share what it was that they, you or that your family member didn't do very well and what happened and how did you, what did you do? How did you feel about it and what did you do? I can't wait.
to get your writing pieces and read all the things that you've been writing about. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. Love, Miss Palmer.